Hello everybody and welcome to the last part of the UEFA Nations League jersey review, which is basically the makeup uh, part where all the jerseys that I couldn't fit into the original uh, review I could find and I'm gonna summarize those here. Those are only five nations from the League C and D and a lot of Baltic countries in there to boost. So let's get started. The first one is, of course, a Baltic country, which is Estonia, which is relegated from League C to Dina. We talk a little bit about the home shirt, but here have a really nice picture of the home shirt. Uh, they're celebrating a goal against Hungary. You can see the Nike template, but they have their own style with the um, numbering, which I actually quite, find quite cool. And not seen here, but on the back below the collar, they have a little hedgehog, which they also had on previous shirt, and I will show you that here from a previous shirt, uh, which is a really nice touch. Actually, um, they are simple, but uh, overall they're okay, those Estonia kits. Uh, yes, we can work with the crest a little bit. The away jersey, I really don't have a nice uh, picture. I look it up, it is white with black. It's as simple as that. I don't think there's anything more to it. It's just a simple white Nike kit with black numbers in the same Estonia style with the hedgehog on the back. And the kit is very boring, very simple. I don't want to say boring, but in a way boring. Uh, I would expect a little bit more, but then, you know, white and black are national colors. I wish there was a little bit blue thrown in there. Let's move further to Montenegro, where we saw the home jersey, which were really nice. White with a sh uh, um, red with a short collar and then uh, yellow buttons. The away jerseys are actually same style, but look even nicer. It's white with the red shirt collar, again yellow buttons, uh, the red sleeve cuffs, and then yeah, name number, Legea kits that are really nice looking. I really like those ones. Um, they were definitely the highlight of when I watched Serbia play Montenegro. Those kits were the highlight of that game. Uh, no question about it. I really like the Montenegro kits in general this time around. Now Lithuania, we already saw the home kit, it's the yellow one, um, Hummel kit, where they play in yellow and uh, green pants, and then they have some black accents on there, which I find weird. Red, that got interrupted by my daughter, and so we were at Lithuania, where we saw the red kit which is actually really weird, it's just red with silvery accents, silvery chevrons that the horse, which I really like, the horse rider, as a crest, but there's not much more to that kit. It's really uh, odd in a way. It's also odd that they split all the national colors. The Lithuanian flag is yellow, green, red. That they split it over the two shirts and then they throw in white or silver in that case. So I'm not too fond of the red away kits. I wish there was a little bit more national colors added to that one. Maybe you could make them here in green and yellow, the chevrons. Then the last two, let's go away first from the Baltics. We go to Kazakhstan, where the away jersey I saw for the first time when they played um, away to uh, Georgia in the final game. I find those odd. I like the base color, this is from the flag, but then they use this royal blue and then some yellow, which doesn't really fit uh, well. Use, if you want to make the sleeves different, use yellow sleeves or something, or use yellow pinstriping. I really found those odds to look at the darker blue sleeves than with the yellow um, sleeve cuffs. It, there's just something not quite connecting with me. But yeah, um, it is again a very special template uh, for a former Soviet team sponsored by Adidas. And the last jersey that we're going to look at is Latvia. Uh, it's the home jersey, which was uh, dark red, with white stars, especially along the collar, and then the white three stripes on the sides. And here they just flip-flop it. Um, I actually like this with the stars. It gives also a little bit special. Again, Adidas, former Soviet team, slightly different template. So actually this looks also quite nice. It's not the most exciting kit, but it has something special, and for that I like it. Well. Now we got them all. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys, uh, which ones you liked, which ones you disliked. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jersey reviews. There will be a lot more. 
and I'm gonna talk to you soon. Up until then, bye.